Well, we are in the prime of the holiday shopping season right now, and people are out shopping and charging a lot of it. Credit card spending is up 26% this season thanks to online shopping, mall traffic, even Main Street. In this case, Main Street Clinton, where eclectic shops are cleaning up. If ever a town belonged on the cover of a Christmas card, it's Clinton, New Jersey. Its vibrant downtown attracts visitors and shoppers for its line of eclectic stores like Karen's Dollhouse Shop, whose clients include the Kardashian Company and the Freedom Tower. So we're lucky that people come in with an old dilapidated dollhouse and we refurbish them and we bring them back to life for the next generation to play. And people will pay to play. Karen says business has never been better and that's what we're hearing across the street over at the Card Smart, too. Across the country, sales of general merchandise is up almost 48% this year. A lot of that is going on plastic, according to Caleb Silver from Investopedia. Credit card balances are up about 6.7% year over year in New Jersey. That's a little bit higher than the national average. Delinquencies, though, and that's something we have to watch, are up 13%. In this town, credit cards are huge. This store in particular in Clinton, Credit card sales are 70% easy. So are shoppers staying on a budget? Or if you're like my son over there, do impulse buys get the best of you? Do you so have far. a budget this year and are you I sticking to it? I always have a budget, but sometimes I do go over like everybody else. I think just writing things down after I purchase for an individual. I hate credit cards, hate them. If I can't pay for a credit card, a bill coming in, I don't buy it. Easier said than done sometimes, right? That's why we're in the situation we're in. Here are some ideas to stay on budget over the holidays. You want to limit the number of people you gift. Uh, rotate the people you buy for, and if you can't afford it, just be honest with yourself. You can give handmade gifts or bake because everybody loves a plate of cookies. That they mean a lot. Give essentials, not luxuries. That means buying socks and t-shirts. That way the person who gets the gift doesn't have to buy them. And that frees up their money for luxuries. You give presents, not gifts. That means buying something inexpensive that someone may never think to buy for themselves. And finally, skip the fancy paper and the bows. And this is especially for guys like me. I can't make it look fancy with the nice wrapping paper. So use the cheaper paper or just put it in a bag, Carissa. <laughs> They'll love it anyway. It's from you, right? In a bag. It's a what gift. What are you talking about? Bag it. Oh, man.